Kyle, aid uh, from witchbike.com here at Doble Motorcycles in Coulsdon near Croydon. Cracking selection of bikes here as usual. Got the new bikes over there, You've got a massive selection of used bikes here, and the team are excellent. Uh, Mike, Paul, Rob, Phil, and others. Always very happy to help you out. So today I'm taking out a few bikes. I'm taking out this bike here. Honda's CB1100. Look at that engine. Beautiful styling retro bike. Probably only matched, to be fair, by Triumph to get this look right. And Motor Guzzi. Mm. Now I've been out on the CB1000R, the retro, neo style retro Capi Racer, I think they call it. Really good bike. Again, typical Honda faultless. It's just either you like the styling or you don't. The, the bikes are that good. Um, I'd say uh, yeah, only Triumph kind of competes with them on kind of absolute build quality. And this one is no exception. Fine looking bike indeed. So let's have a look at it. Oh, it grips. I might stick those on. It's in the beginning of September, but my god, it's not warm. Right, look at Wishy Wishy Woogie. Don't expect a lot to happen here. Oh, actually, tell a lot of that. Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah, okay, clock and time aren't massively clear, but the main important stuff is a nice proper retro, old fashioned, old school speedometer and rev counter. Right, okay, start her up. Oh, sounds got a bit more of burble than the, uh, the two 125s I've been on, that is for sure. Nice looking down at the bike, very uncluttered. I like that aluminium there, actually. I mean, okay, it doesn't quite probably, well, that actually is really nice. Been actual speedometer and rev counter wise, but it doesn't beat the Bonneville's um, lovely dash, which is quite stunningly beautiful. But this has got all the stuff you need to know, and I like that little bit beneath it. Sets it off nice. My feet are fully flat on the floor, slight flex in my knees, so it's very comfortable. Decent riding position, about 10% off perpendicular, which is about right actually. So you've got a bit of weight going on your wrists and a lot down your back. Not like a super bike, but it's mostly on your wrists. Or when you're too sitting up, it's all on your back. Uh, neither of those are comfortable for me. This seems about spot on at the moment. Oh, those heat grips <laughs> heating up fog. <laughs> Lovely. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, perfect clutch. Actually, I think that actually there is a bit of a reach to the bars. Oh, wow, this is smooth. <laughs> I've just gone through the 2125, so I've pulled the foot a little bit and it is like proper pull there without any, any trying whatsoever. Wow, this is smooth. This is a really nice bike. Oh, may even better. <laughs> Boy, those heated grips. I'd say I'll keep going on about it, but I love them. Heated grips and cruise control. Big fans. This hasn't got cruise control. Oh, I can't see it. Big fan of that. No drums going down the gears. This one going to first at this speed. See what happens? Oh, wow. Must have clutch assist because that uh, was flawless. Slight bit of pop in there. So you really get after carrying this. This is going to sound good. Absolutely. And I probably would do that. It might not be befitting of the style of this bike, the cruising, sedate sort of nature. I say today, this is a beast. <laughs> I can feel the power. Anything over one litre, of course, is going to have a decent amount of grunt in it. So very quickly, it can accelerate itself into quite a bit of trouble. So uh, unlike the one, two, five, it's very really difficult to break the speed limit. Upwards, this is uh, difficult to get down to the speed limit. You have to really concentrate. Oh, it's got a little speedo. I mean, you might be able to change that, actually, to make it bigger. It's got, it's got a little digital speedo as well. No, it hasn't. Sorry. I just... <laughs> ah! Ah! That's the range. That was, it was 38 to 4. That's probably about my speed, so I thought that was it. Excellent. It's not at all. It's just the range of the tank. Fantastic. Oh, I'll keep that one in, because that is generally funny. <laughs> what a knob, as Vicky would say. Oh, it's much easier going up this hill on this uh, bike than it was on the two one two fives. I can tell that much. Going along, suspension. Uh, 
it's quite firm, um, which is probably good for sporting feel actually. You can't know, don't know what's more going on. It's not as compliant as some of its competitors. Uh, that's either a good thing or bad thing, depending on your riding style. Um, but overall, it doesn't matter a great deal. It hasn't got a quick shifter, which um, I had on the CB1000R. Which, and I do have a quick shifter, it's got to be said. So if it's an option, I'd probably get it. I mean, people buying retro bikes, slightly different characters and personalities than me, in that they don't expect or want or desire or even used to the same sort of things. And that is mostly about technology. Not that they're completely against it, they probably understand the benefits of things like ABS, but they're not particularly bothered about uh, LCD screens, cruise control or quick shifting. This is really aimed at people who just enjoy old fashioned style of biking, not doing too much, but having that 1.1 litre of grunt on tap should they require it, and of course that does make it more suitable, more comfortable for long distances at higher speeds. So you can easily take it uh, over abroad for a long trek, and obviously you can take a pillion quite comfortably on this. It's got a big bench seat, not stepped up, but that's fine. Oh, I need a petrol station. Oh, nothing else here. Grips. It's going to be difficult to go back on my bike without them now. My hand's going to get mad cold. Oh, I don't know what much more to say, really. So, <laughs> it's never just a typical flawless bike. Where none of you like the style and you want this sort of bike, or you don't. I mean, against this competitor, it's just going to be your subjective choice. What I can tell you is it's incredibly smooth. It's absolutely faultless on the gear change, clutch use. The brake is really powerful, as you'd expect a want on a bike of this power. Back brake, which is typical of Honda, is actually really usable. Everything's clear. I mean, personally, yeah, I quite like now the... Um, I'm starting to move over and quite like in LCDs, if they're really good ones, like the colour ones. Otherwise, I prefer this. The seat's comfortable enough, to, driving position's comfortable enough. The bike sounds decent and could be improved if that's your want. I mean, I say the only things I'd get extra for me, quick shifter, these heated grips, and cruise control if it's an option. That's just me, because I'm now used to it. But there's no negatives with this bike per se, apart from, you know, there's no add-ons, but that's just kind of options. There's no negative about this bike in general. It's a cool looking bike. It's a bike that carries kudos, generally for most people, it's kind of bike that even Harley riders would nod at and acknowledge as that's a nice bike. It appeals to even the super blue bike racers. It's kind of bike they probably know they should be on. Of course, it's a tight bend, isn't it? I think we'll do one little speed test, shall we? Before uh, taking it back to its nice, warm and snuggly showroom. The accelerator, like everything else, is absolutely flawless. It's not snatchy doesn't jerk, it just brings on that power and a flipping has it, I mean really has it, you know. Not sure that's textbook uh, manoeuvring, but uh, it worked. On sixth gear rolling on, power's coming smoothly, progressively and comfortably. Let's pull off a little bit. Let's go down to fourth. Roll it on, yeah. Very nice. Well, I haven't retested really it. Okay, it's a bit floaty on the old steering, but you're not, this is a bike you won't be taking to the track ordinarily. And not really for carving up in the country roads either. It's just a very comfortable way of getting from A to B in style. I mean, I, don't, I mean, of course you can't turn it, and as someone who knows what they're doing could, <laughs> could take it around the track faster than I could on a sports bike. Very nice. Oh, remind me to go in at a petrol station, will you? <laughs> okay, so in summary, brilliant bike. <laughs> Absolutely, positively flawless. No negatives whatsoever. Comfy. If you're five foot six and a 28 side leg, you'll get on it. Instrumentation's clear. It looks cool. The styling's spot on. Oh, just placed yourself a big old and it handled it beautifully. It's got everything you want at the front. 
everything's clear. Mm. I really like this bike. One of those bikes where you, it looks innocuous. It doesn't stand out and say, look at me, I'm going to give you the thrill of your life. What it does do is make you realise that this is a bike you should be on and you actually want to buy it. It just ticks lots of practical boxes. Marvellous. So, I mean, I must leave it there. There's not much more to say because you, if you just like the style and you're happy with the price, get the bike. Simple as that, really. Job done. So, ride safe out there. Take care. Aid signing out. Thank <laughs> you.